everyone, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2018 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 12. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 12. So here is the question. So this question is testing us on angles, okay? So let's read the question first for part A. In the figure below, ACDE is a trapezium. CD is parallel to AE. BCD is a straight line and AB equals to BC. Part A, find angle ABC. Okay, so now that we have read the question, let's highlight the key information. So ACDE is a trapezium, CD is parallel to AE, BCD is a straight line and AB equals to BC. Okay, so let's analyze this figure. So they are telling us that ACD E is a trapezium, right? And CD is parallel to AE. So CD is parallel to AE because a trapezium has only one set of parallel lines. Okay, BCD is a straight line. So they're suddenly telling us that BCD is a straight line. Why is BCD? Okay, BCD is over here. So if this is a straight line, right, that actually means that this line is actually parallel to this line already. So instead of drawing the two parallel lines over here, I'm going to draw it in between both of them, okay? So that you can be on our reference always. Okay, so the next thing they are telling us that AB is equal to BC. So AB is equal to BC. Okay, so what do we do? So I'm just going to say that they are equal by drawing two lines here. Okay, okay, I think you realize something. When I draw these two lines, right, I think you realize that tri this triangle ABC is actually an isosceles triangle. So BCA is equal to CBA. Okay, so first I'm going to find one of these angles, so which is going to be this angle over here. So I'm going to find that angle so that we know that this angle is equal to this angle here. So I can find ABC really easily. So this is my plan to solve this question. So in order to solve, find this angle, right, I, I'm going to use the interior angles, interior angles, okay? So this is interior angles. So we know that the sum of these two angles is actually 180 degrees, right? Minus 27 degrees. Because there's 27 degrees here. So I can find this angle, which is 153 degrees. After that, it's really easy to find this angle, BCA. So I'm going to take 180 degrees minus 153 degrees, which is 27 degrees. Okay, I think you realize something here. This angle is equal to this angle over here. Okay, that's actually an easier way to find that angle BCA. Okay, let me show you. So we know that angle BCD is, uh, sorry, line BCD is parallel to AE, right? So, and there's actually a line connecting both of these lines. So there's something called alternate angles, okay? So basically, we know that BCA is equal to 27 degrees because of alternate angles. Alternate angles is basically a Z, okay? So it's when two angles are parallel to each other and there's a line connecting them. So this angle over here is equal to this angle. So this property will be really useful for all of you. But when you use alternate angles, you must always write alternate angles down below because this thing over here is not actually covered in the primary school syllabus, but some of your teachers may teach you this, okay? So, now that we know that angle BCA is 27 degrees, we know that angle CBA, uh, CAB is also 22 degrees. So it's because of the isosceles triangle property. The base angle of an isosceles triangle are same. So let me write down here 27 degrees as well. So basically in order to find uh, angle ABC, I'm just going to take 180 degrees minus 27 degrees minus 27 degrees. It will give me 126 degrees. So I hope you understand my explanation for 
uh, this part A, so let's move on to part B. So now let's read part B. Okay, circle the words that describe A, B, D, E correctly in the following statement. Okay, so there's actually no key information over here. So this is the statement. A, B, D, E is or is not a parallelogram because A, B is or is not parallel to E, D. Okay, so we do not know the first cause, right? So we need to look at the because this part. So we need to look at the last highlight. So is A, B parallel to E, D? Okay, we know that B, C, D is parallel to A, E, but A, B is not parallel to E, D. We do not know for sure, you know? So in order to check that out, I'm going to find this angle ABC, which is already 126 degrees. Okay, so in order to find this angle over here, we just need to take 180 degrees minus 53 degrees, but it will not give us 126 degrees. So this is wrong. So it's not a parallelogram. It's not parallel to ED. So ABDE is not a parallelogram. So this is the answer for part B, okay? So I hope you understand my explanation for this question, part A and B, and I hope you understand my explanation, and thank you, and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!